Imagine paying Kylo Ren to teach you how to be a man. <laughs> Do you think Ken dresses up at night and fights crime? Another rude ages comment, Moo Moo Squiggles. This man looks 44, not 24. Listen up, you motherfucker. You oh my god. <laughs> Vice just dropped their documentary that they created on my business, Gravel to Castle. Not only was it extremely well put together, my friends and I also thought it was incredibly entertaining. This is my official response video. Alright, so in November of 2021, a Vice producer reached out to me and wanted to film a video for Vice's uh, Better Man series. And so I just got done watching it with a couple friends of mine and uh, I'm going to go over some comments and um, yeah, just share kind of my thoughts and responses and yeah, some common questions that I think some people might have. Okay, this dude idolizes Christian Bale's Batman that he even has the Batman's haircut. Uh, actually, my haircut is more so inspired by like Jax Teller from Sons of Anarchy. But, um, you know, I definitely love the whole heroic journey that Batman goes through, Bruce Wayne, right, to become that hero and whatnot. I don't think I'm a superhero. I'm not trying to be some crazy person that dresses in all black. Actually, I kind of am. This person said, Ken is 24, guy looks in his mid 30s. My hair is kind of crazy today, but I have like a whole patch of gray hair right here. Not sure if you can see it, but uh, no, stress when I was younger definitely aged me a ton. Um, so I try to do things to, you know, stay young and whatnot, but hey, can't always help that. And it's actually so funny, I'm realizing uh, most of the comments are actually about my age. People being, there's no way this guy's 24. I was born in 97. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Damn, literally everyone's commenting about my age of thinking I'm not 24. It's funny, when I was younger, I had a marketing business. I still do it, but... Uh, that was like my main focus back then. And I would always tell people in a meeting, if they asked how old I was, I'd say, oh, I'm still in my 20s. And that was when I was just turning 20 years old. So I used to say I'm in my 20s to kind of imply, oh, you know, he could be 28 or whatever, because I looked older, I've looked older ever since I was really, you know, 18, 19 years old. But yeah, kind of funny. So this person said, it's giving toxic masculinity. Not sure why this is only for men. The details feel pointless. Women would benefit from this too. Um, yeah, if you want to go create a woman's group, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. The reason I create it for men is because I'm able to talk about my experiences with dating or striving to learn about masculinity growing up. Having a penis, right? Makes it a very different life than if you don't have a penis. And so uh, I'm not really sure why people would even be upset about that. Uh, that's not a common trend I'm seeing in the comments, but it's just funny how, why can't this be for women? Hey, I just focus on people that are kind of like me, that are a younger guy. I work with older guys too, but a guy that is striving to be a decent father in the future, be a good brother. But do you kind of see what I mean? Yep, here's more comments about bro just looks like Julian from Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, I get those a lot. <laughs> this person said, I don't see what this has to do with financial issues, but I can see this as a good sport exercise. Our whole thing is not really about business or career or finances. Um, you know, we dive into those topics here and there, but like, that's not how I want to market myself and that's not really what our focus is. Our focus is discipline and intentionality. Because I focus with guys that run a business who may have more obligations, right? You know, say you're dealing with a bunch of clients versus you just clock in and out and, you know, handle a job. You know, the whole objective for us is to be able to have those skill sets of discipline and intentionality and all that show up in the areas that not only affect your own life, but are actually affecting the lives of other people. This person said, not the hero we want, but the hero we need. A little Batman tribute. Everyone's going to think I'm obsessed with Batman. I love it. It's a great movie. I'm not obsessed with it, but I uh, guess that's up for everyone's interpretation. This person said, this man is the embodiment of making your crucible your home. Yeah, I'm definitely living a much more balanced life. Um, you know, that was filmed like five uh, months ago. And it's crazy how like, you know, your mind evolves and grows, you know, in just a short amount of time. And so I'm actually living a bit of a more balanced life. I still have, you know, the daily protocols and things that 
Grab the Castle is really focused on, but I also have a bit more of a, um, I guess, balanced life where I'm not just that hardcore striving to just be in a constant state of discipline and stoicism. I'm kind of have a little bit more of a balance. Luke said, this was shockingly heartwarming. I didn't see this coming. I really like this. Yeah, um, I definitely wanted to uh, you know, stay true and authentic to myself. Definitely be entertaining and, you know, just I, I knew that it would kind of have like a comedic uh, meme type element, right? And so I wanted to make sure that the viewers, you guys that watched it, you know, had fun watching it. This Tyler said, oh my fucking God, I died at Taji doing arms out burpees. I love that you can never tell when he's being serious or sarcastic. Never change, Taji. Uh, yeah, I most of the time didn't know if he was being serious or sarcastic myself. So uh, he's definitely a really cool character. Literally another comment, somebody find this guy's actual age. There's no way he's 24. I don't understand what, I, I don't, is it the facial hair? Is it like my body structure? I actually don't really understand why that's so hard to believe. Anthony said the editorial begins Ends with cynicism and ends with sincerity. I'm honestly impressed. That, like I said, you know, I think they did an awesome job with making it, you know, a funny, engaging video, but then also something that you can actually walk away from and going, hey, you know, I felt something. I certainly did. It's fucking crazy being able to watch that and go, wow. I sent it to my grandma. I'm excited for her to share her thoughts with me, because just seeing that transition, right? People grow, and it's it's awesome when you can document that. So I recommend anyone watching this video. Do, try to do that themselves. Try to document your life. You're gonna get a lot of hate. You're gonna embarrass yourself and be cringe a lot of times. I'm a perfect example. But it's also really cool because then you can see your growth and then hopefully become a person that you're proud of. This person said, Ken's heart is in the right place. Yeah, um, I mean, I love working with people. I love sharing my life story. You know, on my YouTube channel, I used to be very um, direct of like, hey, you need to live your life this certain way. And I've realized as I've matured that you know, like one, I don't want to take that approach of telling people what to do unless they're a paying client that's actually asked me to. But, uh, you know, on YouTube where I have like my platform to share, you know, full in depth of my story and life experiences, um, I try to just, you know, share my experiences, my lessons and thoughts towards them and, uh, you know, how you guys could possibly take something away from it. Willem said, this was awesome, hilarious, and kind of sweet. Ken seems like a nice dude. Thanks, bud. Daniel said, hilariously inspiring. Thanks, you're doing a great job, Ken. You too, Taji. Appreciate that. This one's pretty funny. This person said, at nine minutes and 17 seconds, Ken said, I'm kind of wanting to be that role model for that 18-year-old version of me. I felt lost, suicidal, and just broken down. And I know there's so many men out there who feel the same way. And Taji just responds, sure. That's not how it actually went with the conversation, but uh, the way that it was edited is just fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. This person said, honestly, the man's heart is in the right place. I like what he's trying to accomplish and support these guys. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm just trying to uh, have fun, share my story, and um, yeah, share my experiences. I love just going through shitty, not necessarily love going through shitty time periods in my life, but more so like putting myself through adversity, but then also embracing when I am going through those hard times because um, I've just recognized there's patterns throughout life. And whenever you go through that low point, there's always that hill going back up then you get to the view that's super awesome and incredible then you go back down that's just how life works so i embrace that and then uh, try to communicate that through videos as well this person's <laughs> striker woman said there is nothing you could tell me to make me believe that dude is a day less than 40. again why do you think i'm so old cw said ken seems like a really cool and overall good person i appreciate you this person said, Ken is the type of person which we all need in our life as a friend to motivate us at our low. Yep, and I need that person in my life too, and I'm blessed to have found that, and uh, you know, it's a big full circle. There you go. Anne said, I thought this was going to be misogynistic and all about being strong, but the program is totally about being a real man. Motivation and encouragement can be therapy. Yeah, again, some people have uh, their opinions on me having you know, our stuff be tailored towards men. But you know, it's for anyone. It doesn't matter what your age is, your background. And I tried to showcase that through the gentlemen I had in, uh, involved in that day. Of course, there weren't any women, but you know, I've shared this stuff with women that I've had in my life, whether through it's dating, friends, and all that stuff. 
Hold on. All right, TCY1997 said, Ken said he went through a bout of depression. That can age you. Not sure why everyone is shaming Ken for looking older. He could very well be 24. He's a goof, but come on, people, be better. C. Rother said, made me LOL several times. Yep, I laughed my ass off seeing myself and some of the shit I said. <laughs> there, dude, people are really convinced. I'm, <laughs> oh my God, look at this one. James said, am I the only one thinking this dude is not 24, but closer to 42? <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'm not 24. Maybe I'm actually 42 and I just haven't realized it yet. Vice is, Vice is a different platform too than that fucking other video that you showed me. Oh, yeah. As, as the people here, you know, they watch it because they well, like, discover new stuff. Yet another fucking HS comment. If this guy is 24, then I must be 19. Hey, KG Mulatto. I remember that one. Piss off. Ali Sam said, uh, this growled a castle show would be a series yeah i kind of have that on my channel i like document stuff i go through my own workout stuff as well as uh, take other people through that type of stuff too so if you want more subscribe to our channel and uh, watch that stuff i bet this guy had strong feelings about the new batman movie i actually loved it i thought it was so cool it was a total different approach to the batman character and whatnot because it's more of a detective and all that but uh, i loved it for sure send the asteroid said you think Ken dresses up at night and fights crime. Another rude ages comment, Moo Moo Squiggles. This man looks 44, not 24. Listen up, you motherfucker. You <laughs> this one's actually funny. Once upon a time, men used to quote other great men. Now they quote Hollywood movies. <laughs> Guy keeps mentioning and quoting Batman Begins. <laughs> People are gonna think I'm so obsessed with it. They're gonna think I have like Batman Begins like posters in my room and shit. <laughs> I take a girl home. Hey, check this out. I got a fucking shrine of, Br of Christian Bale and <laughs> he's my father. He's my leader. Okay, and then I got some support. Sprocket, in fairness, Batman Begins is pure badassery. I'll allow it. I like your thinking. <laughs> Look at this, this one, this one's great. Stephanie G, imagine Paying Kylo Ren to teach you how to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This person, Scott, said he's an oh, this is actually my client, Scott P. Ermont. No way. Uh, that's crazy. What do you say? Ken's an anomaly, impressive and certainly above the average man. I'm gonna give that a like. We got some other more wholesome comments. Ken seems like a great guy. I hope he does well. Appreciate that very much. Oh, here's uh, Robert Back. As crazy as the methods may seem to a lot of people, I feel like this is a method that could work for a lot of people, myself included. Sometimes a man just needs to be a man. Sometimes that man needs to be broken to his core with physical and mental incapacity. You can only go up from there and become that better man, and it could change every aspect of your life. Um, yeah, that's what I have done for myself. That's why I created Growl the Castle. And look at the videos that people share about their honest feedback, uh, you know, about their experience with us. They pretty much say all the same thing. It's pretty consistent of, hey, it's helped me look at my life in a different way and push myself in these different areas. And that's the whole objective. Hey, here's Nick Vaughn right here, baby. I participated in this experience and had a great time. Ken is an amazing guy and I've learned a lot from him. Taji and the crew were also super nice. This video turned out so well. I definitely. Definitely captures what we went through that day. Highly recommend checking out more of Growl the Castle's content. I'm gonna say, you rock. Hell yeah, bro. This person said, this is actually top notch. In martial arts, this is every day. It teaches you that though you may struggle, if you don't quit and show up every day, some improvements will begin to show up in your life. When you think you have had enough, nobody or yourself allows you to give in. You discover the extra level within. Blue hair guy learned responsibility and consequences from that first situation. Sandbag drill, mind control, endurance, feeding off the team. I needed this right now. Yeah, you guys can go do jujitsu. You don't have to go through a gravity castle program. You or you just go volunteer, you know, hand out some food. Whatever method you want, right? I just created this because I know that's my favorite type of format. Oh, but uh, yeah, I mean, figure out what that p process and path is. Figure out what that process and path is for you. Um, watch our videos for a little while before you, you know, 
chat with us and see if you like it, see if you like what our message is about. I mean, overall, in this uh, documentary by Vice, encapsulates it pretty well, I feel like. So here's like the first guru comment. So basically this guy realized he was Wish Christian Bale and watched some manly videos and tried to reinvent himself as a guru. Um, I don't cl classify myself as a guru. I class myself more as a fitness trainer with a emphasis on self-improvement and uh, you know, I, I call Gravity Castle mind and body training. Simple enough. And I want to have other more qualified trainers in the future than myself while I'm still working towards bettering myself and making myself more valuable every single day. I want to have those guys come in and be those trainers too, right? Incredible Navy SEAL or a guy who's just an incredible well-rounded father and whatnot. Just have all these different figures come in. I'm not trying to be, you know, the guy that positions himself on this pedestal and whatnot. REB said, am I the only one that was motivated, motivated by this? LOL, parentheses, I'm a woman. I'm gonna give that a like. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter what you look like, where you come from, what sex you identify as. My goal is for everyone to get some value from it. Silky Johnson says, so basically it was a sales pitch for his book. No, I have that book, but how often did you see us bringing that out? The thing I want is just for people to watch my YouTube videos. I wanna just create these cool stories that I'm already doing right now. I've just recently, I felt like dialed in my style and approach and whatnot. Um, I just want people to watch that. I mean, yeah, of course, I'd love to grow my business and whatnot, but in all reality, I love just making videos. That's why I have a marketing business where I offer commercials and do uh, video work for you know artists and all this different stuff. I just really want to be able to have my platform reach more people so I can make that really my main thing is just sharing my life stories and creating my own videos. <laughs> V-O-I-D said, the guy with the blue hair mistakenly wore his grandma's pearl earrings. That is savage. But hey, how many people do you know that can pull that off? Anthony is one of the only people. So here's a very interesting comment. The embodiment of toxic masculinity. Um, if that's not a joke comment i'm actually kind of shocked that that's what you're getting from this video um throughout this whole video no do i talk about dating no do i talk about i don't even say the word alpha and like all that stuff our whole focus which i mentioned multiple times throughout the video is being more disciplined intentional and then really being a better leader i can totally understand and i, I don't even use this messaging anymore but in november of last year, which was like five months ago, you know, we'd talk about being strong, honorable, and high value. Strong to me always meant, of course, physically, but also mentally and emotionally. Um, honorable, hey, I like to volunteer with my buddies. Two of the people in that, uh, actually three of the people in that um, video that participated actually volunteered at Watts Empowerment Center. They're guys that I used to go there with. And then um, the high value, I mean, yeah, I don't use that word anymore just because I guess like it has a lot of negative connotation. I mostly focus on communicating, you know, powerful purpose-driven leaders, right? Mm. Besides all that, the fancy words and whatnot, just like the embodiment of toxic masculinity. Is it like us climbing a mountain with sandbags? Is it us doing planks? Is it like, I actually don't understand where you're getting that from, from what you watched. So if you have uh, more things to elaborate on, I would love to have a conversation or post another comment. Um, here's Karen. So actually the second uh, comment regarding this like toxic, toxic masculinity, I've only seen two out of the 400 comments that have been posted in the past two hours since this has been up. Um, honestly, I just feel sad for the guy teaching this class. It's just so clear. He carries a lot of pain and toxic masculinity that he chooses to project onto others for a living instead of finding a healthy cope, uh, coping mechanism. Um, I mean, I've definitely found help and whatnot from other people and all that, but you know, my coping mechanism is adversity, you know, doing things with my physical body. And that's really what Gravity Castle is all about. I call it a mind and body training company because we're doing physical exercises, but not with the intention of getting a six pack or getting chiseled, you know, pecs and all that stuff. It's about being pushed in these physical uh, environments to unlock a new standard for yourself. And Understand yourself in a better way of, hey, I remember when I went through this really tough exercise, whether it's something that someone's done individually working with me or 
through the video that you just watched, right? Um, you know, my whole goal is for people to do hard things to then kind of harden themselves, not make them cold to the point where they're, you know, they lose their warmth in their heart. Um, I definitely had a, a time period of that and I'm sure you can go through my videos and see that evolution. And that's why I like talking about it because I am now in a much more uh, well-balanced, healthy lifestyle. I have good people around me. Um, you know, I have a different outlook towards dating and realizing, you know, like some people come and go and cool, accept that. Um, so that's why it's interesting where people are getting the toxic masculinity comments. I'm not seeing a lot of them. I actually just saw it too and just going through this and, you know, they don't have a lot of upvotes. So I assume most people aren't really on the same page too much, but I could be wrong. But also this person's name is Karen. So what does that tell you? Cool. Well, uh, I think we did a good job with, uh, reading some of those comments. Um, hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you did, feel free to support the channel by just subscribing. If you want to, you know, watch our videos to be entertained, hopefully get some insight, make fun of me, I honestly don't care. Um, I enjoy just documenting my life, sharing my experience. But that doesn't mean that I don't take, um, you know, feedback, constructive criticism. Um, you know, I, I accept that and I enjoy it because it helps me grow as a person. Just like having conversations, right? Um, you know, you, get, you are able to gain insight from other people and help them see something in a different way. And that's something I feel like I've gotten better at doing is being able to recognize, hey, you know what? I could be wrong in this. Let me go step outside of my shoes and look at it from a different perspective, maybe a 30,000 foot view or someone in the same setting and look at it from their eyes and then kind of process those thoughts and ideas and understandings to then possibly shift my perspective. Um, you know, that's one of the reasons why I like to emphasize, hey, I don't know everything and I don't claim to. Um, hopefully you guys get that from the way I talk and just what it is I say. But if not, I don't know what to tell you. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe so you can watch more videos and uh, catch you later.